And then he challenges Theory because, hey, you're dressed, I'm dressed, like, let's do this. And I was like, yeah, okay. Um, yeah. That's, a, that's a nice way to start off. So we had Austin Theory versus LA Knight for the number one contendership with The Miz. But there it is. Yeah, so The Miz comes out to sit at the commentary desk, obviously, because we can't forget about their little feud. And The Miz is just like, oh, no, like, you can't take the spotlight off of me. So um, he's sitting there for this match. So obviously this was a good match. LA Knight was actually dominant for most of it, which was cool to see. And Miz, of course, just continued to hype up their feud with what you were saying. And um, shockingly, he gets involved in the match. That's definitely not something that any of us could have predicted. Oh Here he gets the win from the distraction and the pulling of the tights. So Obviously, you know, there was a lot of people that were uh, very upset last night that LA Knight lost. But again, I am trying to stick to that optimism that we talked about with Tim, where there are clearly bigger plans for LA Knight. And plus, a feud with Miz is kind of better than deal. going for the U.S. title because I agree with, I think Tim even tweeted this, a.k.a. the Yeah movement. He was saying that LA Knight is kind of above the U.S. title right now. So him going for it, like, yeah, maybe he could get the title because that's what a lot of people want right now. But as far as like where he's going and his trajectory right now, I don't even know that he even needs uh, a, yeah. like a U.S. title run before going for something bigger. So no, he does unless it was the Intercontinental because Intercontinental is it, well because that's and that leads into my point is that. Gunther has made the Intercontinental title mean something where yeah. The U.S. title needs someone to make it mean something. L.A. Knight is not there yet in the sense that the crowd's going to keep giving he these reactions and pops for him with or without the title. I mean, mm -hmm. for instance, he lost last night. That does nothing. People are still going to actually, for instance, it actually is going to help him. He's going to, yeah. they're going to cheer louder because yeah. he lost last night. And yeah. feuding with The Miz, it's a little insight <clears throat> to you know, people like Sore who don't know this, that a feud with a guy like The Miz is worth a hell of a lot more than just holding a belt around. Because mm -hmm. what that is going to do for your career and we'll say, what's the word I'm looking for? Like just, you know, whatever, for your career. Mm -hmm. It will only skyrocket it because then you're feuding with a guy like The Miz who, if he's feuding with you, it means he likes you. you something there. So, yeah. Um, I I could not be more optimistic right now about L.A. Knight. There's just no. I mean, he's he's the coolest motherfucker in wrestling. Mm -hmm. Not even close. 